Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn, the Leather Bag Lady. How are you all today? It is uh, Thursday today, and it's a beautiful day. Leather Bag Lady weather report. It is sunny. It's still only about 14, 15 degrees right now, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Better than rain and way better than our unfortunate neighbors in the East Coast and down south in Florida. Can you even just imagine? I don't know. I think we are, I, th I think my opinion, we maybe take things for granted a little bit here in southern Ontario. Our weather is very, one day it's one thing, next day it's another, but we don't, well, I guess I shouldn't say that because parts of Toronto, Barrie, Vaughan are in kind of Hurricane Alley or Tornado Alley or whatever you want to call it. But the weather is just crazy. It's just all over the place. And we, we're a little safe here, I must say. And that's kind of why I think we don't really appreciate the danger that some of our neighbors are in. And here's Pius and I thinking of moving to the East Coast at some point. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, back to the reason I'm speaking with you, and that is bags. So I have a bag today for you, and it is a real daily driver. Very simple styling, 1970s pocket here, compartments inside, nice sturdy uh, divider. I really like this velvet interior and then you've got a zippered compartment here uh Carnig man is the um the maker which is uh kitchener i think uh the 70s uh we talked about this just the other day and i did mention this maker um all of these leather craftsmen have come here from europe Carnig man i mean where I can't even guess where that name's come from. But, you know, we, we put such a great um, value on, you know, the bags from the Italian leather markets and some of these other European. The sun has just come out. Can you tell? <laughs> um, but these craftsmen were all in that arena prior to coming to good old Canada here. So you're getting European styling. I mean, just these little um, gold tone uh, kind of grippers or attaching pieces. I mean, these are so sturdy. The, the bag is a real kind of chocolate brown. There's some nice gussets in the bottom and on the side. So you're going to get a lot of stuff in this bag. A real nice daily driver. And it screams vintage, it screams retro. I mean, if you are a vintage lover, you want your bag to say that it's vintage. So there we go. I really like these uh, Canadian made ones. The Mimo Sacks the other day, uh, this brand. Very simple styling, very simple styling, but the quality. And just, you know, this little trim piece around the pocket. It would have been so easy just to have either put the pocket the whole way across or to not have these little accent pieces, the little cutout here. Just simple, simple, simple styling. And a nice zipper uh, closure, which I know you ladies like, and some dividers, which I know you ladies like. Organize your stuff a little bit easier. So that is today's bag. That's the back side, that's the front side. So there we go. Um, how's your day going? It is 20 after 10. So I've got maybe another hour before I have to leave. I'm going to have some toast because I'm hungry. Um, I went out for uh, coffee with my cousin again yesterday. We had a real good catch up on everything that's happened with our lives since we saw each other last uh, 24 years. Um, She's had a rough ride with uh, being a single mom, and uh, I guess I was pretty lucky. Uh, you know, my kids were young, but uh, I had the financial support of their dad. I didn't have any parental support in terms of raising, disciplining, 
uh, guiding the kids in that regard, but um, certainly was uh, there financially and pulled his weight in that regard, which a lot of my friends didn't have. So I was lucky. I was very lucky. As Thanksgiving approaches, got lots to be thankful for this year. That is for sure. So what is happening the rest of the day? I've got a show, as I said. So I'm in Ancaster this afternoon from two till four. Just a little quickie. It's local enough that it's not a huge deal to go there for just two hours. Um, so I'm going to get the car loaded up soon, have my toast, had a training session with the trainer at the gym this morning, having to kind of get my head around the fact, I didn't even break a sweat, but I know I'm going to be sore tomorrow because I was doing different exercises in different formats. So that was interesting. And that's it. Uh, Pius is going to meet my aunt and uncle and my cousin tonight. Just quickly. She goes home back to Scotland tomorrow. So I wanted to meet her, him to meet them. They want to meet him. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm not sure. Hopefully he'll get home a little early so we can do that in good time. And then who knows what time he'll be up in the morning. What was it? Five o'clock this morning. And I didn't set my alarm. I'm like, oh, I'll be up. Ten after seven I woke up. I'm like, oh, my appointment was for eight. So quickly got my shit together and off I went so anyway hopefully you're gonna have a great day it's just a little quickie today because I gotta get going and I will talk to you tomorrow bye everybody